Hey fellow back there, boys, Nick here. Today I'm going to be making a really simple blow dart gun that will actually be shooting you know, those little foam nerf darts. The reason why I'm doing this is because Christmas is rolling around and every year it's been sort of a tradition and some of my friends from high school have had a Christmas party. Every year, you know, people who have gone off to the mainland, you know, fly home for Christmas and so this is kind of a special year because, you know, everybody's pretty much graduated college or whatnot. And now that we're sort of adults, this might actually be the end of our annual Christmas party. And every year, there's always a Nerf gun fight. So I figured I'd escalate things a little bit and make a set of blow dart guns that we can shoot Nerf darts with. So at this length, which... We're going to be, I'm going to be using a half an inch a Schedule 40 electrical conduit. main reason why I'm using conduit is because I have lots on hand. This is 30 inches long and at 30 inches it's just enough length where there's a good amount of power but not so much that it could really hurt someone. Uh, at worst you'll get a welt like a paintball, it's not that bad. If you're going to use this though, I do suggest you wear, you know, safety goggles or like an airsoft mask or airsoft goggles or something like that, just to protect your eyes. So you're going to need the pipe, and you're also going to need a three-quarter inch Schedule 40 pipe. Doesn't matter if it's a conduit or not. This is going to make the handle. So first thing we're going to do is heat the handle up and slide it over the main part of the pipe. And one thing I like to do, especially if I'm going to be painting this, which I will be, is I've gone ahead and I've completely sanded both pipes. Taken all the lettering off. I've also roughed it up nice so that the paint will have a good, uh, good surface to adhere to. I've also gone ahead and rounded the edges on all of my pipes just so that there aren't any sharp edges and everything's clean and finish. So we're going to heat this up, put this on, and then we're going to uh, do the mouthpiece after that. So here we go. So here's the three quarter inch pipe. And we're going to be heating this up. I've got it in my heating trough right here. The one thing I want to mention is that the on the main pipe here, what you want to do is mark two inches from one end. That's so that when we place this on here it'll go down to two inches so that the grip is in a good place so you can place the mouthpiece against your mouth so that when we heat this up we know where we're going to put it so here we go you just want to heat this completely until it's pliable enough to form over the other pipe All right, so now it's hot enough. What do you want to do? And you want to use uh, gloves or a hot pad or something when handling this because the pipe's very hot, but I'm just going to be using my hands. You just want to press this over the pipe. Okay. There it is. I just want to pull it down. As you can see, this is that two inch section. Now you've got the handle. Now that we've got the handle done, we're going to be working on the mouthpiece here. So let's go do that. Alright, so now we're going to be working on the mouthpiece. What we're going to be doing is actually heating this up and flaring it out. So what you're going to need is a scrap piece of pipe. You want to round off the end like this. What we're going to do is we're going to heat this up and drive this rounded end into the other pipe about an inch. That way it will expand this out. So here we go. So just take this pipe, 
drive it in. And you want to drive it down about an inch or so. So there it is. Just let this cool a little bit. Here's our finished mouthpiece. Here it is. Mouthpiece is done. So pretty much this is ready to shoot right now. It's really nothing else that needs to be done. If the pipe isn't straight, you do want to straighten it out, you know. It'll really help with accuracy. But here it is. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and paint it. But it works right now as is. <laughs> Alright, so let's go paint it. So here I have four of them finished up. All I did was I painted a base coat of sort of um, olive green and then I just put a little bit of red overspray on it. You know? Red and green? Christmas colors? <laughs> so here we go. This is the finished Nerf blow dart gun. So here they are. So now I'm going to shoot this for you guys. So here we go. So you just take your Nerf dart, place it in the end, and go for it. It also works pretty well for nail darts. I get about 80 to 90 FPS with a 3 inch nail dart. It's not too bad. And then these bamboo darts go a little bit faster. <laughs> so there you go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.